What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. It's going to focus in on uh, Power Play with CJ Draft Diaries. Three draft eligible players taking the ice. Uh, three key, you know, notable draft eligible players. Obviously, uh, Jack Eichel and AJ Gray for BU, and uh, overage of Tyler Kelleher from UNH, who was passed over in 2013 and 14, and uh, really had a phenomenal season this year. I really believe an NHL team will um, will invest a pick in them. Let's talk. Let's start off with uh, Jack Eichel, the rock star. You know, the the big name here. I um wasn't his best. He was not at his best. If you look at the stat sheet, he had two goals. One of them was the empty netter. Another one, um, you know, loose in the crease, you know, got a stick on it and really was able to, to put it in the back of the net. Um, and, you know, Eichel's kind of guy that you look at him and go, like, that wasn't his best game, and he still ends up with two goals. You know, it's just like it's the great ones just find ways to do that. And uh, I made a joke to my friends before the game, you know, if UNH holds Eichel under two goals, they have a chance to win. Uh, they didn't hold him under two goals, and uh, the Terriers got the win over the UNH Wildcats. But... I was really, really, really impressed with AJ Greer, and I haven't been able to say that uh, too often this season. Uh, you know, he's play, he played up a line with Casey Holman, and uh, you know, I really liked the the aggressiveness he brought. Everybody just skating hard, playing physical, you know, generating scoring chances. You know, he really just just getting involved down low, and uh, just really being a phenomenal, phenomenal physical presence for the Terriers. And you know, I think if he can continue to do that uh, going forward. BU will have a good chance to uh, to go to the Frozen Four and uh, you know possibly win a national championship. I mean, he is a phenomenal hockey player. You know, one of the younger players in the NCAA. Uh, didn't turn 18 until December, so you know, a young freshman. You know, physical power forward that you know took a little time to grow into his um, body. And uh, you know, again, I thought was was awesome tonight. I thought this was the best I've seen him play. And uh, you know, had a couple breakaways and uh, just really played out of his mind. And he's um, you know doing some great things and should see himself drafted. You know, the top three, four rounds of this year's draft. I mean, he is a uh, a really, really, really good player. And you'll be hearing about him for a long time. Kelleher, uh, really impressed with him. Not the biggest kid out there, but uh, a level of shiftiness, craftiness. Um, you know that uh, you like to see. I mean, he really lit it up with the U.S. development team. Um, for two years in Ann Arbor, then last year UNH as a freshman, you know, 16 points, not a bad impact as a, a hockey rookie this year. 41 points, 30 games in the season. Uh, as a 95, this is last year's draft eligible. It might be who I'm not to get drafted, to be honest with you, because then he can sign a free agent deal, be a sought after commodity on the free agent market. But you know, th this kid is really a, a tremendously, you know, gifted hockey player with his offensive, uh, you know moves and, and repertoire that allow him to create scoring chances for himself and his teammates. I mean, if you have the chance to watch him play, you know, um, go for it. I mean, about five foot seven, not again, not the biggest kid, but if you're able to overlook his size, you, you get a really, really good offensive specimen that I think is definitely worth investing a high, uh, high pick in. You know, he's, um, he's from Western Mass from Long Meadow. So between him and uh, Connor Gollin, two, uh, two Massachusetts natives, undersized Massachusetts natives that have been passed on in the draft before, could definitely see their names, hear their names called, um, you know, in the 2015 NHL draft. Anyway, that's all I got sort of the power play with CJ on the power play with CJ draft diaries for uh, the BUNH hockey semifinal game on March 20th, 2015. Stay tuned for episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.